it is true that those mask bans that are in place on Nassau County, well, the first protester has been arrested for violating the anti-mask ordinance in Nassau County, uh, Long Island. Uh, So here we have a tweet from Breakthrough News. Police in Long Island, New York, targeted and arrested a Palestine solidarity activist for wearing a keffiyeh under Nassau County's Mask Transparency Act. Those who violate the mask ban... Wow, have times have changed. Fast face a misdemeanor charge, punishable by up to a year in jail and a one thousand dollar fine. So here we have uh, a video report from Breakthrough News. Where the fuck is Baba? Police in Long Island, New York. Here, I'll read this since the font's a little small, so I'll start this one more time. My apologies. Police in Long Island, New York, targeted and arrested a Palestine solidarity activist for wearing a kafia under their mask transparency act. Those who violate the mask ban face misdemeanor charge punishable by up to a year in jail and a thousand dollar fine. The arrest is one of the first since the ban was passed last month. New York City Mayor Eric Adams says he wants to bring the Nassau County ban to New York City. Activists say bans like this are unconstitutional, unsafe, and designed to repress protests and increase surveillance. The arrest took place during a protest in Cedarhurst, New York, opposing the sale of Palestinian land. Participants reported that police used their other repressive tactics, including horses, to push protesters through. Sorry, to push protesters throughout the day. So there you have it. Uh, The first arrest of a protester under this. Now, this was not the first person arrest uh, to be arrested uh, using this ordinance. That happened a couple weeks after it was signed into law. It was signed into law on August 15th. And the first person who was arrested in violation of this mask ban uh, was a teenager. A teenager was arrested over the weekend. This was a few weeks ago uh, in Nassau County, New York, after he was seen wearing a mask in public. The first arrest related to the county's face covering ban, which was signed this month. So this was not a protester. This was a person, as you could see, Westland Omar Ramirez Castillo, 18 of Hicksville, was arrested on Sunday in Levittown after officers responded to reports regarding a suspicious male walking down Spindle Road dressed in black and wearing a mask to conceal his identity, Nassau County Police said. Police released a photo showing him wearing a ski mask that covered his face but showed his eyes. Ramirez Castillo allegedly continued to display suspicious behavior while attempting to conceal a large bulge in his waistband that ended up being a 14-inch knife, officials said. Police said that officers stopped him and patted him down under the mask law and found the knife. Ramirez Castillo allegedly refused to comply with officer commands and was placed under arrest. He was charged with criminal possession of a weapon, obstructing governmental administration, and charged with violating the Mask Transparency Act. He was arraigned Monday at First District Court in Hempstead. Okay, so that's a report of a suspicious individual walking around with a mask clearly designed to conceal his identity for no particular reason because he was walking alone at night, and he had a giant bulge in his pants that ended up being a weapon, right? So contrast that with... Here, where the violation is just, oh, you're protesting with a face covering so that there aren't political and social repercussions to you protesting here, right? Apples and oranges, I would say. But there is the mask ban at the protest being used for its desired intent, right? Um, Somebody walking around with a ski mask, acting erratically with a bulge in his pants, That's a suspicious individual that you're probably going to call the cops about anyway, especially if you see there's something weird in their pants that they have a gun or a knife on them. Um, But this obviously part of a crackdown on speech, part of a part of an expansion of the surveillance state. Now, if you are there and you want to protect your reputation by covering your face, they will say, no, that's against the law. Now you have to expose yourself to reputational harm if you want to protest a genocide. Now, I personally think we should all work up the uh, courage and fortitude. Or if if you just want to celebrate Halloween. 
Yeah, it's true. Or this is also a crackdown <laughs> on Halloween. It's also an ant, a very anti Halloween. They should be writing tickets on Halloween. That would be hilarious. It's particularly cruel in the fall season. That's true. They could have waited until after Halloween to get this going. Um, um but yeah, um, now you have to be willing to uh, incur uh, reputational harm in Nassau County if you want to protest. They yeah, genocide. Now, Mister Wonderful won't hire you. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. And Eric Adams wants to bring this to New York. Now, look. I mean. I, it's easy for me to say this because I've always been uh, someone who hops around from job to job. I've never had much of a career to maintain, at least not one that depends upon me staying in the good graces of my normie boss. So I get it. I mean, it, it's, it's easy for me to say this on the one hand. On the other hand, I hope we can move past this point where we're all afraid of these consequences. Just show your face and tell the truth about what's, what's happening. Um, that's a show of strength. Again, easy for me to talk that way. I understand why certain people sure. don't, especially if you're a college kid and and you got, you know, uh, uh, you know, law firms already rescinding offers and billionaires mm-hmm. like Kevin O'Leary threatening to do a deep dark check on you and dox you and things like that. Um, but if this comes to New York City, this is going to be even more of a widespread problem. I mean, this is in Nassau County, or as you could see, the reason I added that story. Like, you don't need a mask ban. Like, whether that guy was wearing a face covering or not is kind of immaterial. I mean, maybe the face covering made him a little more suspicious because he was concealing his identity. But as the report said, he's already acting erratically, and he apparently has a weapon on him. So you'd probably Mm -hmm. call the cops on him no matter what. You're not really Mm -hmm. calling the cops on him because he's violating the mask ban. You're calling the cops on him because he's acting erratically. It's already normal to call the police on people who are acting erratically and seem to have weapons on them. You don't need the mask ban. The mask ban is not intended for guys like that. It's intended for guys like this who was arrested. Well, originally, originally, wasn't it an anti-COVIDian thing? Because the libs at first were against it. Right. And now now you because it was this it was a covid thing. Right. And now they're for it because, oh, I see. Look, you know, the, and and this just this just <laughs> really shows the danger of promoting selective restrictions on civil liberties when you like it, because a lot of people who are you know, going to be apoplectic about the government banning our speech online, we're all for that. Yeah, those Covidians make them not okay. Well, now look how they're using it. Look yeah, how no, they're I was using never, it now that was, they have that restriction. No, I don't mean us. No, but, I know, but I'm just saying. You know. I was always against it, even on those grounds. Like, look, man, if you want to wear a yeah, mask, that's on your the subway, personal business. Just don't make person. you want to be against making you do it. That's another story. But other people doing it, that's their business. If they want to do that. Now you let this genie out of the bottle. Right. Now 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 the Democrats like the idea too. Now that they see what you could do with this. New York, I of I course. man that would be crazy if they try to impose that in New York. Especially because I mean I'm joking, but not joking. We have we have like the I think the largest Halloween parade in the world in New York. Well, of course they're gonna lift it for Halloween. I mean, they're not gonna not are they going to do that on Halloween? Unless you have a pro, Maybe. what would be the what would be the ultimate? That troll? would be the ultimate troll. Everybody come out with kafias. Yeah, have a free Palestine protest on Halloween, the night where they won't enforce that because they're not going to enforce it on Halloween. Obviously, it's a special thing. But but at a at a protest, yeah. And look, what the effect that this will have at protests is it will keep the protests small because if people are afraid of being arrested if they cover their face they might not go to the protest like that is the right. design the design is right. to create a chilling exactly. effect to minimize the presence of these protesters yep. so what all of it is about uh, they're not actually going to go around arresting people and fining people for wearing men there are too many people in new york city for that to right. be enforceable right. Right. Oh, you're walking up Fifth Avenue with a mask on what a cop is going to come and roust you for that. No, what they want is they want the ability to do that so that, hey, if you if your number is up and you are so on as so unfortunate as to be plucked out of a crowd by a cop and charged with wearing a mask, which a year in jail for a face covering up to a year in prison, not just a civil fine of a thousand dollars, a year in jail for wearing a mask 
in public? No, no, but you remember when they first passed it. Fucking crazy. I, 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 I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure Adams was among those who was saying, well, we got to do something about this. Like they wanted to take it to court to get yeah. rid of it. And now they say, oh, oh, you could do that with it. You can scare protesters out of protesting with this. Yeah. Let's do it. Because who's yeah. going to take that chance? Even though, like I said, it's not practical to think that they can crack down on everybody who violates this law. But you want to take a chance on that and hire a lawyer to keep you out of jail for up to a year? I mean, I would be shocked if any right. judge hands down a year sentence for this because <laughs> it's a maximum sentence, not a minimum. You never know. But you never know. You never know. And that's the point. That's what they want. They want to create an environment where, hey, you never know. It's best just stay away from those protests or go and show your face and have your law firm see right. you in a picture and say, thanks, but no thanks. We're no longer interested. That right. is the effect. It's it's dystopian, man. These are very scary yeah. times. I mean, it's happening all around Free the country, world. Right baby. In your backyard. Yeah. Free country. Yep. You can no I, longer. What would you? What did you say? Who was the guest you raised that to? I think it was Omali. I think we're entering a phase where you can no longer take for granted that you can speak freely anywhere in the world. When I travel, it is very funny to me that we call ourselves the freest country. You, most other countries I go to are less restrictive than the United States is, and I'm not saying there aren't more restrictive countries, but of western countries and even when i went to south america central america rather um yeah man where this is a very repressive society by comparison to a lot of others the idea like this is the home of the free and and hey we had, this is a wave across the western world where they're trying to through the eu create speech codes you saw they've gone after x multiple times to try to get uh get them to ban speech so i'm not saying it's a paradise over there but i'm saying the idea that the united states is the freest country no that's not my experience yeah please clap <laughs>